Hey everybody, welcome again to these Hot Tips with Cliff. We appreciate Cliff doing this and we also appreciate Clear One Sports sponsoring us, letting us do this here. My name's Rich Lively. I've picked up pickleball after uh, many years of doing a lot of other sports. Played, um, played tennis in college, went on to be a tennis pro for a while, golf pro. Played a lot of badminton, table tennis, just all those kind of sports. And now I'm absolutely in love with pickleball. It's so much fun. I've been playing it for about a year and a half. And honestly, when I first came in, I was the tenant, your typical tennis player that comes in and just rah, hit it as hard as you can and try and blow people off the court, which worked for a little bit with some of the ladies that were over 70, obviously. But then when I went up against some beasts like Cliff and others, like, this is not working. I better learn how to do something else. So I learned how to do the dinks, which is one of the most important, learn that ridiculous third shot drop that we all still struggle with. But I tell you, one of the things that really helped me from my years of playing badminton tournaments and also table tennis was how to put away a quick, backhand flip is what we call it or, or a smash and yet it's that that volley where you really want to get that angle down quick at your opponent's feet you want to get some nice sharp angle in it so even if they get it they're out of position and pop it up so i'm going to show you today how to put away uh the the really fast backhand flash or backhand flick or whatever you want to call it it's a very quick offensive shot that you're planning on either winning the point or setting it up so they pop it up in the air and your opponent can come in and smash it to smithereens and win the point. So let's go, let's talk about this backhand flip. First of all, you wanna make sure you've got good paddle preparation. We never wanna come in ready to hit a shot with our paddle down here. We don't want it like this. We don't wanna be standing straight up. We always wanna come with the balls on our feet. I used to play just a little bit of beach volleyball as well. It's kind of like receiving the serve. You come in like this, you're ready to go. When that opponent comes at you though, you want to be ready if you see it coming, especially if it's coming at an upper angle, to get that paddle out front quickly and put away that uh, way out in front of you as you turn it over. Now, I'm a person who when I taught tennis and golf lessons, I was very visual. I wanted to teach with word pictures. I'm also a pastor, so I do a lot of sermon illustrations so people can understand not just the word, but how to apply it and use pictures and stories. So I always like to say, you want to pretend you're hitchhiking. So if you, now I know we don't do that anymore, but we used to here in America back in the 70s, we went to get somewhere we could hitchhike. Remember how you would stand on the side of the road and you would put your thumb out and you'd kind of go like this, you'd kind of hold it out first, and then you'd do this. You know, you give the little thumb action like that. That's kind of the motion you want on this backhand flick. Let me show you real quick in slow motion. So you're coming in, you've got it in front and your paddle's ready to go with the backhand position. You start leaning forward and then you, hitchhike and you just roll it over like that and it has to be a pretty it's sort of like you're in an emergency to hitchhike you got to get there fast so it's not a slow roll although sometimes that's a good shot when you're below the net to pick it up this is an above the net attacking angle that goes down so you're gonna turn that thumb pretty quick and you're gonna pop it and turn over like this so you can see how I'm starting in a neutral position don't come in back like this it's a neutral position and then you take that thumb turn it quickly and finish right here. Now notice that I'm not finishing down here. That is not the shot. You do that, you're probably gonna hit it into the net. It's not gonna be an effective shot. It's right here from probably waist to chest high. You lean in and you turn that thumb over like you're hitchhiking, a very quick flick, and you'll notice how quickly the ball goes down at their feet and has a sharp angle going from your left across to the right. And that's what you want, because even if they get it back, odds are they're gonna have a very defensive pop-up like this, which then either you or your opponent get to put away. So the goal, once again, is make sure you come in ready, get on the balls of your feet, come in for that attacking shot, hit your split step as the ball's coming, step in, and then neutral position, roll it over with the thumb like you're hitchhiking. And remember, you're in an emergency to get there, but you don't wanna be off in the ditch like this, okay? So quick flick, there's your attacking backhand flick. It's kind of what we call it. Hitchhike your way and you'll make it to the Emerald City. Bling! So just to recap once again, three easy steps. Make sure you've got that paddle in the neutral position. You come in and hit that split step ready to go. And as that ball is coming up, again, this is not a shot you usually hit from here. As it's coming up, Ready position, neutral, step in, hitchhike, roll it over and stop. This is not a long one down here, it's a quick turn and you're done. Ready position, step in, hitchhike. That's it, 
Hey, thanks again for tuning in to Pickleball Tips this week as we looked at the backhand flick. Come back for more. Make sure you like our page. Make sure you go to it and learn more about this great game that we're all obsessed with. Happy pickling.